I'm going to show you how to log in to the SP2 website. First of all, you need to go to sp2.org, and that will bring you to this page. Then we need to move on to our login button. Okay, so the account ID is going to be six followed by four sevens. One, two, three, four. The password's going to be control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L. And then your personal PIN is going to be your first initial, last initial, and then your student ID number. Similar to what you used to log in to the hub. Uh, I made an example account, so it's ES12345. Go to login, and this is what you'll see when you log into your SB2 training page. The SB2 training has to do with safety, so we're going to click on courses. Okay, so the first time you log in, it'll want your email, which if you want to put that in there, it's a good idea. Uh, that way if you want to see your progress or whatever, uh, and put your email below so that if you lose your codes, you'll be able to re easily recover your codes. I didn't put in emails for any of, any of the students on my class, so you can go ahead and do that. I'm just going to dismiss this. Okay. One of the things I want you to do is to check your browser. So we're going to do that quick. It says that everything's good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close this test page. Alright, and then to get started you're going to click on mechanical safety uh, and it goes through all the things that you're going to be covering along with each one of these boxes will get checked off um, on the left side here and then you'll have a final exam. You'll have a test for each one of these. I'll be able to track this as the instructor um, and up here is a navigation tab so you'll watch this page what you will learn in this course. To find the expectations for the course, understand why the government cares about safety. Recognize how your actions affect you and your coworkers. PSP2 safety training is designed to provide information that will protect you immediately upon entering the shop environment. Federal laws require businesses and schools to train their employees and students on safety and pollution prevention issues. Unlike some training programs, this course is practical and you can start using what you learn right away. Each of the modules in this course will provide information about a specific safety or pollution prevention topic that relates to your industry. You may leave and return to a module at any time. Okay, so we go over some safety stuff. Uh, that you need to know. The safety training modules for this course are listed here. Each module ends with a quiz. After completing all the modules, you will take a final exam that will test your knowledge of the materials. You will have five attempts to correctly answer 80% of the questions to pass the final exam and earn your certificate of completion. Safety is everyone's responsibility. The federal government can mandate it. Employers can do their best to train the employees in their shop, but ultimately, the responsibility for safety will fall on the shoulders of each individual in the workplace. Do your work safely and look out for fellow employees. Watch out for others in your work environment. If something appears dangerous, inform a supervisor. If a coworker is doing something that may cause injury, calmly and respectfully explain the issue. Awareness can prevent serious injury. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. I um, want you guys to get rolling on this right away. Uh, when you're done, you can let me know. I'll check it, and then I can submit a grade to your safety training.